Hello there and welcome back to my channel. My name is Tashandra and I am the Chocolate Journalist and welcome to week two of my One Book July series slash challenge and if you don't know what One Book July is, I will link all the information that I have on One Book July in the description box below but today in my Happy Book Happy Planner Bullet Journal, my Happy Bujo, I am planning for the week of July 8th through the 14th and I will be using some stickers from So Cute Planner, this purple kit that I'm obsessed with, as well as some leftovers from a sheet I purchased from Planning with Kay, and these gorgeous dolls, but I don't know the name of the shop because I bought them from someone that was de-stashing them, and Happy Planner Date stickers, my washi tape from So Cute Planner that you'll see down the side, and a Tomaxis or Magic Fly dual tip art liner, fine liner, and my Happy Planner paper that is purple dotted, if you can see. And I already went ahead and outlined everything because this is my very first plan with me and outlining it was just easier. And depending on how long I want to make the video, I may go over it with my black fine liner. But more than likely, to save time for the video, I probably won't. But I'm really excited, you guys, for this video and for this week because my mom and I are having our very first networking event on Saturday, the 13th. So we are very excited. And she's a travel agent, or we're a travel agent. And she also sells Tupperware. And she also sells party time mixes. So if you have any kind of travel needs, and we also sell t-shirts. So if you have any of those needs, any of that fits you comment down below and let me know. And I may do a video with her soon. We'll see. So this is the first sheet and I usually use this as a tracker basis. And then this is what the actual weekly is going to look like. So let's get started with that. Just the FYI, sorry for the awkward pauses. This is my very first plan with me, and I'm not the best at editing. I'm not good at editing at all. So, that will explain all the awkward pauses. And again, sorry for that. And as I'm coloring this in, One Book July is basically a challenge that was created and this is their sixth year doing the challenge and this year they decided to do the challenge as the bullet journaling method which is a system created by Ryder Carroll he's the inventor of the bullet journal and he's fantastic and if you haven't read the book or haven't tried bullet journaling I suggest you try it because it's really really fun and I've been using my Happy Planner as a bullet journal for the entire year of 2019 so far. But I decided to actually try the One Book July because I had some separate things, but I decided you might as well keep it all together because it's easier to keep everything together, if that makes sense. And so basically, the bullet journaling method is a concise way of keeping everything in one notebook. And it's a rapid logging system. But you don't have to be fancy and decorative to bullet journal. Although there's lots of amazing artistic people, it can be as simple as you jotting down your notes. And the best thing about bullet journaling is you don't have to have a necessary startup. You can 
use whatever you have. You can use a notebook and a pen that you have lying around the house. When I first started bullet journaling, I used a composition notebook, and I lost it when we moved, obviously. And then I branched out and I got a sketchbook, a cheap little knockoff sketchbook, and of course, the spine broke, and so that aggravated me. And so I ended up taking it apart and hole punching it and putting it in a binder. And then I didn't like the binder setup because the binder rings would get messed up. So I stopped using the binder. And then I entered a giveaway and won a happy planner. Fell in love with the happy planner. And I've been using the happy planner ever since. And then last year I was experimenting with larger happy planners like the big happy planners and the medium, the smaller ones, and I went and in October of last year, like a week or so before my birthday, I decided to, for the rest of the year, just DIY my own pages just to see how I liked it, and I fell in love with it because it's a creative outlet, and I've been doing it ever since. And I say all of that to say that the bullet journaling method is whatever works for you. If you like adding color and decorations like I do, do it. But if you don't want to do that or you don't like it or it's a distraction for you, then don't do it. The whole bullet journaling system purpose is to make it work for you. And that's what I love about Ryder Carroll. He mentions it time and time again to make sure that it works for you. And you only, because at the end of the day, you're the one that has to look at it. And I know I colored the little sidebars very poorly, but I will go back and color that later. So, I'm not sure if I want to add the Planning of Case daily stickers, or if I want to add the So Cute Planner stickers. So... I'll decide that later, but I am going to add my sidebar ladies, because she's so fabulous. And I'm not going to do a whole lot of decorating, because I like functional and decorative. So this is right up my alley, and I'm going to be super fancy. And have her it, be aligned with her as much as I can. And then, where do I want her popping out? We'll see. So, I'm going to go with. Since there's a lot of light purple here, I'm going to bring out the dark purple and use the So Cute Planner date stickers, or Days of the Week stickers. And if you've never shopped with So Cute Planner, I encourage you to do so. Her shop is fabulous. And, while I'm talking about it, I am a member of her PR team, so you can always go to so Cute Planner on Etsy and when you purchase something use my coupon code TASHA15 and save 15% off your total and again sorry for the awkward pauses I'm still learning but I'm really excited about my first plan with me because it involves all things purple Y'all know I love purple. And so for the sake of the video, I'm just going to decorate and then go over it with my fine liner. And then I'll post a picture on my Instagram of how it turned out after I used the fine liner. But this is so pretty. I'm so excited. And I'm not sure where I'm going to put her just yet. But... Let's see if there's another sticker that I wanted to use. 
there now. So the things that I usually track on here is the important section, water, my work hours, and a to buy section. And I usually go in and write those down before I forget. So this is important notes. I'll just write notes for the sake of the video. Hours at work. My to buy section. And water. So I have my basic tracker section. And then we flip to my weekly layout. And then on the back, I usually use this as a memories in the next week section. But, of course, for the sake of the video, I'll leave that out. And let me put the dates on. And I think this will be it for this video. Because I don't want it to be super duper long. And I'm just really excited about One Book July. And again, like I said, this is my first time participating. And I'm not sure exactly what else I'm going to do. But I didn't see a lot of disbound bullet journalers that are participating in One Book July. So I thought this would be a great opportunity to show that you can combine two systems and make it work. And that's what I like doing. And I just want to help and show people that you can combine it and make it work. And make it super awesome. Which I'm in love with it. And October will be a whole year I've been DIYing my own layout. So that ought to tell you something. And 12 got stuck on my hand. And again, for the sake of the video, this is all that I'm going to do, but I will post a before the pin on my Instagram at the chocolate journalist where I go back and fill it in with a fine liner and again thank you all for watching I hope if you have never tried one book July it's not too late to start and I wanted to also say thank you guys for watching don't forget to like give me a thumbs up hit that notification bell as well as subscribe to my channel and remember that you are loved bye y'all